This guy is an unpolished phony. He's absolutely no good at any of his claims that he's made up. Uh -uh. But there are some that are pretty good. They will Google Bud's classes. They'll find out some graduation dates, maybe a guy or two that was in it, uh, things like that, and they can gum things up however slightly. But they can't go uh, very, very far with this at all. Then you get a guy like that. He can't get the graduation date right. There's nobody listed that is in his thing. He's ripping off guys' heads that he served on the Ronald Reagan with. And uh, then he pulls something out like uh, SEAL Team 9 and that there are no SEALs on the East Coast anymore. Damn. You fucking dumb. Glad to help. Glad to help. <laughs> Team 9. Bill Brockberry. When, it, when he said that, it just caught me so by surprise. I'm not easily shocked at the stuff, but when he said SEAL Team 9, that kind of just... I was like, oh my God. And then it, uh, I was just focused on Brock Brader. I was like, SEAL Team 9, Brock Brader, Brock Brader, Brock Brader. I'm going back through all this Brock Brader stuff. So that's the only thing that kind of distracted me a little bit. The the designation that we had was SEAL, SEAL Team 9. Brandon right there. Can you hear me, Brandon? Yep. yep. Howdy, sir. Hey, that's uh, Don Shipley. Brandon, you know who I am? Yes, I do. Yeah, everybody does. Yeah. Hook me up with that Bud's class, bro. Uh, part of 269. Part of 269. And 10. Attached to SEAL Team. You say part of 269? Correct. Uh, the class is 269, correct. Brandon, you remember when that class graduated? What month, year? Uh, November of 2007. And you were at uh, Team 10. What? Were you at Team 10? No. What team were you assigned to, bro? Nine. Team 9. Correct. And where is Team 9 stationed at? We were, in, we were attached to the U.S. National Ronald Reagan, and we were stationed in Coronado, California. Why would you be attached to a, an aircraft carrier? what we were doing. We were attached to, well, at the time, it was Captain Terry Pratt. Attached to the Ronald Reagan. What would the, a bunch of SEALs be doing on the Ronald Reagan? We would, we were attached to the boat, and we would, when they went on Westpac, we would go in-country, um, sea off, and then ride the ship back. Was that your only deployment? No, I did four deployments. Well, four to the Middle East, and then one to Asia. With Team 9? Correct. Yeah. You know who Bill Brock Brader is? Bill who? Brock Brader. No. Yeah. Bill Brock Brader is this very strange uh, Area 51 fake Navy SEAL guy that claims oh. that he was on SEAL Team 9 that there were nine of them on SEAL Team 9. That's where they came up with nine. They were He was a part of the nines. Were there more than nine when you went through? On yes, team, there was. On Team 9? Correct. Yeah, that, Brandon, bro, that, uh, that team doesn't exist. Okay. And your class here, you're way off on that. I'm looking at 269. It graduated in June of 2008. Okay. And you're not listed up here in that sealed database. Is there a problem? Is there something I'm missing? I don't know. So, we'll get it figured out. Well, let me help you figure it out here. Can you give me your CO's name at uh, Team 10? Perhaps there's some, or Team 9, perhaps there's some kind of mistake. You want to try a last name? Your CO, Master Chief, Platoon Chief, Platoon O. My um, Senior chief was Michael Johnson, who was a GM senior chief. Gunner Johnson. Johnson, a gunner's mate, but he was a SEAL? Yes. And he was assigned to what team? He was my senior chief of nine. No. 
Well, there's no okay. there's no team nine, bro. We're gonna have to push all over that. Perhaps you made a mistake with that. You know, the teams on the West Coast now, where that team nine weird shit came up from was that the crazy ass Bill Brockbrader that I went after for uh, three years. The uh, guy that raped his wife's sister, little sister. Yeah, went to the brig at Leavenworth, but he came up while he was at the uh, in Leavenworth, incarcerated for being a pedophile, he created this crazy uh, SEAL Team 9 thing. said there were nine of them on that SEAL team, and they'd be sent into the deserts in the Middle East from Area 51, that an alien taught him combat training and all this other shit. And that's where that SEAL Team 9 comes from. It doesn't exist, bro. On the West Coast, it's 1, 3, uh, 5, and uh, 7. Out here, that's... Uh, Two, four, Lawndale. eight. Coast now, they shut down Virginia and Florida. They did what? Aren't they all West Coast now? Because they shut down Virginia. No. No. Okay. No, team two, team four, team eight, team ten are out here. Uh, all out here. And the uh, dev group's out here. And I got all my buddies there. And the SEAL Heritage Center is right there in Little Creek. I'm down there all the time. But no, that's not out. You know, when you're doing this and, you know, this weapons thing, I'm not really sure what's involved, uh, Brandon, but you know, I deal with such volume of guys that falsely claim to be Navy SEALs, but not all of them go to this length. When you go to a length like this, when you put that down that you were a SEAL and these secret clearances and you're trying to gain money from it, you're right up there where the FBI wants to talk to you about this stolen valor law. Most guys just pawn that shit off on a girl and do something or it's just light you know they're well, paying uh, handling claiming that but when you're into uh, a lot of money like that okay i didn't get money by saying that so they don't the guys involved in this weren't going to give you money based off your background as a navy seal I hope it wouldn't be for the background because technically they never should have even known anything about it based off of Beam being a fire manufacturer. Were you uh, a decade on the Ronald Reagan? What? Were you a bosun mate, decade on the Ronald Reagan? No, I was a gunner's mate. A gunner's mate. Not a seal now. We're, we we push well, past I, that. When my mother died in 2008, I was transferred to light and limited duty as they, I was PAD to a, to HSC3 as they both and me. Okay. There was something you lost that. I mean, they don't demote gunner's mates down to bosun mates. Uh, I didn't get, I didn't get demoted. I went temporary time duty as a handler. Okay. All right. But we've pushed past all this. There was some kind of miscommunication about this whole SEAL thing. That, right, we're done I, with this, that you weren't a SEAL now? I didn't say that either. Are, or you, you? are you still sticking to that? Yeah. Are you a SEAL? Yeah. You were a Navy SEAL attached to SEAL Team 9. On USS Ronald Reagan. US Ronald Reagan. Brother, I want, I want to say this real quick, Don. I don't want to interrupt your mojo and, and disrespect you. I apologize. We're not going to freak out. We ain't those guys. Most guys probably, what, I mean, 99% were hurt deeply because of what we know. And we, we have to get to the bottom of it. Okay. I think it's good for you too. We really do care that we're not. Um, so, Don, go ahead. I need, I need to drive this home. He's still saying he's a Navy SEAL. Okay. Well, the first thing is, it's a brand here. You're, you're not listed. I know who he is. You know who he is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's pretty much yeah, they, they all know. You're not listed in the SEAL database ever being a SEAL. You've got 269's uh, graduation. I've got it. Oh, do you want to name any of the guys you went through training with and all? Uh, there was Mitch Aguilar, um, Mario Patelli. Hang on just a second, bro. Yeah. No. Hang on a second. I had to get past that Johnson thing. Uh, 269. Okay. And who is it? There is Mitch Aguilar. A? Aguilar? 
Yeah. No, yeah. no, nobody by that name graduated that training. Yeah. Fast, the first guy, uh, there is no A's that graduated that training. It starts with B and goes down to uh, W. What's the other one? There's James Gerberno. What is his name? Berno? James Gerberno. Like J E R B E R N O. No, there's nobody with a J in their name. It goes from I to K to L. No, we're not okay. getting this right. Uh, I'm sure those were guys you served with off the, uh, the USS Ronald Reagan. Sh uh, SEALs go TAD on some of these steps. Uh, no, they're not even doing that uh, shit anymore. When I was in, we would do med cruises and we would do Westpac cruises. We'd do it with the amphibious ships, not aircraft carriers. We were on there with the Marines. Marine invasion, the old SEAL op type of stuff, it's all around. But carriers, no. I only know one uh, team, Team 8, did a round the world cruise with the Carl Vincent uh, when it was uh, up and running. But uh, no, and there is no Team 9, bro. Where did you kind of come up with that one? Now, this is all pretty easy stuff to Google and verify. I know you're kind of taken back with these guys, but when you can't get the class date right, and they can't get anybody else in there. I'm telling you, there's no such thing as SEAL Team 9. And you didn't even think any of the East Coast SEAL teams were in existence uh, anymore. They're all out there. In 2009, we were told that all of the other SEAL bases were being shut down as going to be fully Coronado. No. No, we stay very close to Washington, and we stay very close to Florida, where uh, you know, the big guys at uh, SOC are. Special Operations Command down there. We we'll always have guys out here uh, for that. So, uh, no. What else can we go into, guys? We're not getting any of this uh, right, but, you know, that's not good claiming that whole SEAL bit. You know, team 9, Bud's class. Nothing. You know, that gives you clearance. That gives you all the things to be able to keep up from the data, which I just... Right. Okay. Which makes sense. I mean, like, if you go to uh, Argus, we can't go to places that you can go, and you're very knowledgeable. I mean, I, I mean wicked, crazy knowledgeable, man. It's impressive. But I, I, I was taken back, blown away that somebody that has access to bus training and all that stuff, and you know who he is, says, did I really thought? I was like, I don't come back. It'll be okay. And it didn't. And I'm like, what? And so just calling Naval Special War Group that I did yeah. and calling Naval Personnel um, and them giving us, uh, you know, your record and, you know, all that stuff, it just none of it adds up. So if, I, okay. if that doesn't add up and I'm calling these people, then i got to believe none of it adds up. And if none of it adds up, okay. then what the hell are we doing here? Somebody owes somebody $50,000. Yeah. Right? And we'll do that. But gosh darn, if you're not really good at what you're doing here uh, and you know we just keep on hanging on trying to believe it and, and, the, and the hard thing too is you know like I said Don we didn't meet him at a at a bar at a bar, and he's just running his mouth guy's a great sweet guy nice guy I mean great guy to be around uh, and boy that just is disappointing because we sure did enjoy just getting to be around him. Uh, but I, I, I guess I just I don't know what else to say if you hold on to the Navy SEAL thing I know it's embarrassing God Dude, I've lied. I have. I was a sales guy. Don't think I didn't lie. I got caught. I got caught in uh, a lie when I was in my twenties. Uh, advanced Technology Services Services to uh, Komatsu uh, because I could speak some Japanese back then, really pretty, pretty good, you know. And I'm still in martial arts, and I, and I got my ass handed to me. I got fired, and then I got rehired. Uh, strangely enough, but I know the feeling. I, I get the feeling. It's it, what's sad is. Don, why do most guys do this? You told me earlier. Well, most it's guys are uh, most guys are ashamed of something in their past. They had a bad run in the Navy. Other than that, it's always a build trust financial thing. Okay, uh, all right. And you have his records, there, right? Gotcha. So, so not a Navy SEAL. A bad run in the Navy. Yeah, you know, like they did. Yeah. Did you get out as an E three, Brandon? Yes, I did. After how many years? Four? Uh, 
Technically, no, it's five. You weren't setting the world on fire there. Did you take a bust for something to get that NJP? Nope. Nope. Well, I have all my good comrades. I have. There, I don't even have a document. I've never had an R15, nothing. Okay. Well, you weren't setting the world on fire being an E3 after five years, and you'd only have one good conduct, not a few of them. I don't know what these guys want to uh, do about that. Again, you know, guys just are able to contact me and verify this information. i got no reason to uh, jerk anybody around out there, but I tell you, I don't know if uh, I have been given any details about any money stuff, but this is, this is FBI stolen valor type of shit right here. This is what those guys are all into. If you guys need anything else from me, but uh, I'll let you guys uh, deal with Mr. Team Nine guy. So. All, right. all right. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate your time. Yeah. You're welcome, guys. Good luck. Okay, yeah. Hello. Sir, I apologize. Uh, have you talked to Brandon before? No. I don't yeah. think I have. I've talked to you four times, sir. Talk to me about what? I'm sorry. Hold on a second. You've talked to me four times before? I've talked to you at least. This would be the fourth. Brian Lovato has called you before. Um, what was the other guy's name that called you? John Lovato. I don't, I don't think that this job is level, but that's the problem. And uh, what would you that, what would you be calling me for? No, I I didn't I didn't call you. Somebody else called when I I did some instructing for a company called Death of Firearms, and he told me that he called you to verify and. I talked to somebody at least because they were Tom Shipley. And why would you be calling somebody named Don Shipley? No, I, someone else called to verify him. Someone else called to verify him. So he said he's done this. This is the fourth time he's had to do this. And you've, Brandon, you've personally spoken to me? I spoke to somebody that they said they were Don Shipley. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, man. I don't know why you would call me. I don't remember uh, the name. I speak to an awful lot of guys, but... Uh, it, was, no. it was before I named. And what did I... What did I... What did we talk about? This exact same thing, which... And I cleared all this up, and I said, Oh, I'm sorry you wore a seal? No, you didn't. You said the exact same thing. No. Don... I don't again. Get, the only guy yeah. I ever remember mentioning the word Team Nine is that clown Bill Brockbrader. He's back yeah, in so jail. Team Nine has never existed. No. Okay. No. Uh, it's one three five and uh, seven. And, uh, no, we don't have a name for need for. Either, right? How's that? There's no six, sir. I, I was under assumption there was a six. six. Yeah, there is. There is a six. Now, oh, you give been, me that. That's been converted to the dev the group. They don't, they, don't, they don't call it Team Six anymore. They call it Dev Group. Naval dev group. Special Warfare Development Group. Gotcha. So, Bill Brockbrader, when he pulled that shit on me, there is uh, Teams 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. There is no team nine. That's what Brockbrader did. He tried to say that it was a classified team that uh, trained out of Area 51 with aliens. And he made a good case. He had a lot of the tin hat people believing that bullshit of why would they skip uh, over team nine. Well, that's easy, because Team 6 isn't part of the regular uh, SEAL teams. It's a long story, but, uh, yeah, that's what sunk his boat to begin with. But uh, there's still a few tin hat people out there that believe that uh, 
Team nine consists of nine guys, and uh, they work at Area 51. Uh, Brandon, I don't remember you. I, I, I'm sure you're in a tough spot there with these guys. Uh, no, I don't remember you calling me. I don't know what would have changed. Your name is not listed up here. You're not getting the class graduation date right for uh, 269. You can't name anybody in that class. Uh, you don't know that there's still SEAL teams all over the East Coast. And, uh, you know, this whole bit about deploying on the Ronald Reagan and then three others. You were in for a few years. When did you get out, bro? September 11th of 09. Of 09. And between, what did you say, uh, 2007 and 2009, you did four deployments? No, between 2006. Well, you I said went, that your buds class graduated in 2007 or something. I joined in 04. I went as, I didn't, I did the SEAL challenge after I did, I had already gone on the West End. Okay, so you were in the fleet. That's not really counting for SEAL deployments, but go ahead. And you did three deployments in SEAL team? Correct. From 2000. Nine or 2007 to 2009? Yes, I did one four month and two six months. Four month and two six months. Was that yeah, one, was one. that deployment of yours with the SEALs on Team Nine on the Ronald Reagan? Yep. Yep. Brandon, do you know what a Dreger is? What a what? Dreger. Have you ever shot a Dreger? You're a gunner's mate. I have not. Not familiar with that? Nope. You would have spent two months in Bud's diving that rig. That's the Uba that we dive, the LAR-5 Dreger. You would have spent two months learning how to attack ships uh, with that in there. Okay. You know, I could just keep going on and on, guys. I told you, and I think it was a good phone call. These guys get a little bit manipulative. They'll set you back with something uh, that you can't figure out or you can't answer. Now he started in, as soon as we got off the phone, he started in. Well, I've talked to Don before. We went down this road before. Not only is the Buds class gooned up, SEAL Team 9, the only rig that we dive in, in, in SEAL Team is the LAR-5 Dreger. You spend countless uh, doing it. He doesn't even know what the hell a Dreger is. It's like not knowing what your mother's first name is. So, simple. Yes, it's very simple, guys. Um, or you're in this position, but your money's better off in your pocket than Brandon doing a damn thing with it. I'll tell you that. So you're not doing it. Just, I'm not a real Brandon fan right now. I'm getting a little tired of that guy. All right. Well, uh, Don, I appreciate it. Thank you for taking the phone call again. <laughs> we'll wrap up here and keep you posted. Yeah, well, if he comes up with anything else, just pick up the phone. Give me a call back. We'll ask him some more Bud's questions or SEAL questions. And okay. We'll get into demolitions next time. That'll throw him. Okay, guys. All right. Have a good Thanks. You're welcome. <sighs> when this guy first contacted me, I said uh, he wasn't sure what he wanted to do. And I said, you better be careful now. These guys are very good table turners. They're very manipulative. They will come up with something and put you on the spot. And that's where it's nice where I'm sitting and I can hear or participate in this because they ain't going to do that to me. Now, if Brandon was doing all this shit to them, but they, all these deployments and SEAL Team 9 and all this other stuff and all I've talked to Don before, if I had a flipping nickel for every phony that said, oh, yeah, they talked to uh, I talked to Don. Don knows me. Don's just me and Don had a big laugh uh, when he said I was a phony. He knows he's, we're just pulling your leg and shit like that. Yeah, does he know Don Shipley? Damn right he knows Don Shipley. He knows there's a seal out there that goes after you clowns. <laughs>